resignation of Haitian President Jovenel Moise, a South Florida security firm is facing new questions about the killing. That's just one of the major developments tonight. Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay is live with it all. This photo is proof, say intelligence officers, of a nefarious plot to assassinate the president of Haiti. At least one of the meetings happened at CTU Security, a military supply company that state records show is headquartered inside of this Doral office building and owned by Antonio Intriago. Investigators allege Intriago worked with Walter Vientimilla, who runs Worldwide Capital Lending Group, based on this second floor office space in Miramar, all to help fund the planned assassination. Both men are seen in that picture next to James Solanges and Christian Sanan, a pair of Haitian Americans from South Florida who are now in custody along with dozens of other Colombian nationals tied to the killing. Weapons, ammo and even grenades have been found in subsequent raids. And according to the New York Times, Colombian citizens with military experience were recruited from as far back as May for a job that would take them to Haiti. However, most have denied knowing anything about the plot. The Pentagon confirms a small number of Colombians detained after the assassination had previously taken part in U.S. military training while members of the Colombian Armed Forces. And now sources say that Haiti's acting prime minister, Claude Joseph, is being investigated as a possible mastermind. The FBI is providing investigative assistance to the Haitian authorities at the request of the government of Haiti. Uh, they remain committed to working alongside our international partners to administer justice. So even the head of security at the Haitian presidential residence is now in custody. In the meantime, President Biden was asked today about sending in more troops to help stabilize the country. He said no, there are no plans for that, but he will send in more Marines to help protect the embassy. We're live in Doral tonight. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Terrell, thanks a lot, South.